hi guys welcome to jd's kitchen and thank you guys for stopping by today we're not going to be staying in the kitchen we are not cooking i'm taking you guys to the streets of limbe um precisely i'll be taking you guys somewhere around down beach and i'll be showing you guys i'll be tickling your your taste buds i'll be tickling your tummy so if you have something that you can chew up on please hold it by you and have a bottle of water because today's video we're going to be like chewing something i'm taking you guys down memory lane to some cameroonian childhood snacks i feel like they are not childhood snacks they are things that we still have now but for a lot of people you tone down on how you consume these things as you become older that's why i'm calling them childhood snacks and for some of us some of these things that i'm going to show you have um memories of them attached to places for example maybe when you were in primary school there's a particular snack that you had a lot uh, when you're in primary school, there's this particular mama that used to sit in one corner selling something. Let's not talk too much. I'm going to take you guys with me to the streets and then, of course, back to the kitchen. We're just going to go back and forth, but I'm going to show you guys um, 10 different Cameroonian snacks that you can chew up on. And what do you consider a snack? Because I see things that people consider as snacks and it's a whole three course meal. Like some people consider Fufu and Eero as snack. <laughs> If you're a heavy eater, that might be snack for you. But anyway, I'm talking about proper snacks, like just something you can pick and chew um, to satisfy cravings and all that. So the first one I'm going to talk about, I have them lined up here. I went out to the streets yesterday and I'm going to be showing you guys how I was actually getting some of these things. And we'll just be gisting um, as the video goes along. But the first snack I'm going to talk about is very popular. I have all of them lined up here. So I'm going to be picking them up one by one and showing you guys. The first one I'm going to talk about is guess. In fact, I want you guys to drop your favorite Cameroonian snack in the comment section and say what it's the attachment that you have to eat. So the first one I'm going to talk about is Tada! This is called Ching Ching. I don't like to say it's a Cameroonian snack. I think I should say it's an African, it's an African snack because a lot of African countries have this. I don't want to open it because I'm not going to eat it. Maybe the kids are going to have to pick from all of these things that I got and whatever is left is left. So um, yeah, the first one is Ching Ching. People make it especially on Christmas days, but you find them on this, like there's no, there's no streets. I don't think there's a street in Cameroon. It doesn't matter where, except that maybe there's a problem happening in that place. You must find Ching Ching. These call box people, they have Ching Ching. You must find Ching Ching. On Christmas day, your neighbor must write Ching Ching or your neighbor's neighbor must write Ching Ching. <laughs> the second one, guess. Guess, what do you think must be on this list? If there's a particular snack that you think must be on this list, leave in the comment section. So the second one is going to have to be our famous granola sweet. Now there's something, I have a pot on the fire. Now there's something that I noticed, um, there's something that I noticed when I was trying to get the snacks. In fact, I was even trying to make a list. I realized that we have a lot of snacks that contain granules. Like, up, off the top of your head, if you're a Cameroonian watching this, I know you can think of five Cameroonian snacks that are made out of granules. And that was a shocking realization for me. Anyways, you have granules sweets. This is a hundred francs. Most of the things I got, like, they are hundred francs per pack. So this is a hundred francs and this is a hundred francs. The next one, oh my goodness, is going to have to be the famous mambo chocolate. You guys, this mambo, this chocolate has stood the test of time. Like, I, I feel like everybody knows it. Everybody has had it. And then, one thing about the mambo is that over time, the quality has not dropped. Like, you know, there are some things that still exist. Like, there's this particular thing. Should I say it or should I not say it? Nutrition. Like growing up, I used to see, I used to see it, I used to eat it, I used to see people eating it. And it had this unique, there's something about it that is no longer there. Do you feel the same way? Did you used to take uh, Nutrition back in the days? Do you still take it now? Have you noticed the difference? Leave it in the comment section. Do you like mambo or do you not like mambo? I think everybody likes mambo. Um, the next one, we're going back to something that has granite. Guess what it is? Guess. Peanuts. This is actually not something that I like to eat. I don't know why. But yeah, this is one very popular snack in Cameroon. People also, there's a lot of wind. I hope you guys are hearing me. I hope the wind is not taking my voice away. But yeah, maybe I should use my mic. Anyways, let's let's keep filming. So this is a very popular Cameroonian snack, but I feel like this is one of the snacks that is not generally loved. Like ching ching, okay, is generally loved. Like you can say all Cameroonians love ching ching. That's not true, that's not a fact, but 
Oh my god. Papa, come and close the door, please. I'm still filming. Thank you. Thank you, Ethan. Thank you guys, before I finish filming one video. Okay, so I was saying that um um I think okay in my opinion I think more people love chin chin than this. Maybe I'm saying so because I really don't like this. Like I cannot sit and crave this. I cannot sit and crave uh, peanuts. Like I will not I cannot crave it. I think they call it peanuts. What do they call it in Cameroon? Coated nut, coated peanuts. I think it's peanuts, yes. It's peanuts, yes. I don't I don't sit around and I crave for peanuts, but I can crave for chin chin so you guys, what do you think? Leave in the comment section. Ching ching peanuts. Which one is winning for you? Leave in the comment section. Okay. The next one. This one, you guys. I was so surprised. When, let me let me take it out of this wrapper. I was so surprised when I saw it. Like, if you don't know this one, then you call me auntie. If you don't know galettes, you better call me auntie. And maybe other regions of Cameroon, maybe French people call it different. Do you, do you know galettes, you guys? I feel like it's made locally. I don't know how this thing is made. Maybe I should eat some of these things. Hmm. Hmm. Memories. Hmm. Okay, this is galette. If you don't know galette, if you have never heard of it, I've never seen it, call me auntie. <laughs> because I think they used to sell it. How much did I buy this? Hmm. I think it was 50 francs but i think back then it should be like maybe it was like 10 francs or 25 i can't remember how much um if you used to buy galette how much was it back then drop in the comment section i don't know how to eat and talk that's why i'm not eating any of the things but since this is a chopping video let me just chop small so that you can salivate <laughs> mm -hmm. okay now we're attacking the biscuits Palige. <laughs> this biscuit is popular but i don't like it honestly it's not something that let's see should i say i don't like it or should i say not like i don't like it it's not something that i sit and crave it's something that most times i buy for my kids because of them i'll not sit like this and think of buying palige so it's not something that i fancy but palige is a very popular cameroonian snack and it has stood the test of time as well in my opinion the quality is not the same like it used to be before but i don't think it has so much of a difference like the difference in the nutrition because the one in the is so noticeable or maybe i've not noticed this one because i don't really consume it that much so i can't really tell but i feel like there's a difference even in the size i feel like they've reduced the quantity in the packet and all of that what do you think leave it in the comment section mm. so you guys let's go to the next one this one i have to literally <laughs> let's see if we can capture that can you guys see that? Mm -hmm. That's boiled granite. That's what I told you guys at the start of this video that a lot of Cameroonian snacks have granite. This one, actually, I don't like the one I bought. It's so dry. But when you buy fresh granite, fresh boiled granite, yummy. Like, it will satisfy any craving any day, any time. Okay, so how many have we uh, looked at? I think we've looked at a good number. Let's go to the... I think that this should be my favorite. Leave in the comment section what do you think i'm about to show you guys what do you think i'm about to show you guys right now leave in the comment section it's my favorite i feel like i've showed you guys i feel like you guys have seen it anyways if you have leave in the comment section dun, 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 dun. you guys see granos see there but that's not what i'm talking about is this part of it the crown crown part of it let's even open it why am i not opening it Ta -da. Dun, 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 dun. crown crown or we used to call it bamenda chin chin or we call it what else <laughs> leave your own name down below i know it's crank crank mm? fry corn yeah this is actually what i like because you don't have to eat a lot to be satisfied when you eat it a lot you need water and water is good for your system so if you are somebody that hardly drinks water eat this when you eat it you test it you drink water i like it a lot which of them so far is your favorite and yeah what do you think which one do you like um let's move on to the next one there's one that i actually wanted to get that i could not find the next one is going to have to be plantain chips some people like it when it's ripe some people like it when it's half ripe i have memories of this from secondary school there's this part they used to call power chips whenever we close 
and make sure I have 100 francs or 200 francs to buy a wrapping of chips. He had a very nice way that he kept it, like the oil is already on the fire and then he's getting directly into the oil. I think he used to drop some sugar into it, so it was always really sweet and nice. I have so many memories of planting chips. What are your memories of chips? Leave it in the comment section. The last one I'm going to show you guys is something that we've already seen in different forms. I'm sure you guys already know granite. So this is granite in its simplest form. Okay, we saw we saw um, granite sweet. We saw this peanut. So these three are all in the same family, but this is it in its simplest form where nothing has been, maybe just salt has been added. And yeah, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Which Cameroonian snack do you think I omitted? Leave it in the comment section. If it's your first time here, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.